Hello, welcome to Happy Reading with Darby G. This video is all about nonfiction books, books that your kiddos are going to love learning from. They probably won't even realize they're learning. Um, so I'm going to start out with the Lift the Flap Computers and Coding because I think everybody could probably use this book, um, even we adults. This is going to show you behind the scenes what is going on in that computer of yours, um, how it works, how coding works, and talk about all the parts that make up the machine as well as how that code tells it what to do. It's simple, it's straightforward, it's very visual, which is great for really complex um, topics. And it's gonna make some sense of that, these machines that we depend on so heavily. Um, that is computers and code, lift to flap computers and coding. And I mean this when I say this, like it is not for, there's no cap on the age. Like adults will be just fine with it as well. And then similarly, this is a brand new title for our See Inside series. The See Inside series is awesome because I love flaps. Um, people tend to learn better when they're engaging more than one area of their brain. And the flaps are just that. Um, and it's a great way to have just um, extra information on a single page by having a double layer. But um, this book is going to talk about all different ways that food um, is prepared, like in terms of growing, um, which nuts can grow underground, how do greenhouses work, um, and then of course fascinating food facts. We have so many food books, so if you have a food lover, like where they're actually interested in learning it or they're into farming, um, please just search for food. We have tons that will come up. Um, this Time Traveler, so we have two history books that I was going to recommend, but um, this Time Traveler one is the one that's my favorite. There's also one called Timelines of World History that's a very different presentation with more like real images. And this one is going to take the reader through time beginning in, um, how does that, yeah, the Crusades. And then you go through the Vikings and you go through the Roman Empire and then you finish in Egypt when pharaohs were the rulers. And it's just a really good way to learn about something in a different way. Like it's, it puts a different spin on his history, something that's so far away from us now. Um, on that same note with history, um, this is the Encyclopedia of World History, but I'm showing you this more for the format because there is an encyclopedia of science and an encyclopedia of geography. The geography one is my favorite of the three, um, but this one's from 1999, so this paperback version, that's what you can expect in terms of quality. If you want a sturdier one, get the uh, more expensive ones, but um, if you just need it like I do, just for to put on the coffee table, this the paperback one is just fine for me. Um, all our books like this are gonna be internet linked, so you can go online using that those links up here and it'll take you and you'll learn even more about that subject on that page. So um, encyclopedias are just a good way to get learning right in front of your kid without actually using an internet, um, which is kind of cool. So we have a series called 100 Things. This one's 100 Things to Know About Space. It's our new title that's in this series. We also have a science one and then a food one, again, food is on its way. Um, this is just fascinating. Like last night we read it to our five-year-old who I thought was not going to understand anything, but some of the stuff he definitely could. But it is written for like eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and up through adults. Um, we did learn that in Mar and on Mars, snow is cubes, cube shaped and square, which was kind of cool. Um, but anyway, all this, inf and this information comes to you um, via infographics, which makes it a lot more um, tangible or easy to get into your brain so it's not just like what you have something actually to put the text with um, so we have this series of books it's hard to tell you the name of the series some people call them discovery I think on the website some of them are called discoveries but they're just different enough but they're similar in format which I wanted to show you because I love them this one's the survival one it's gonna have beautiful images and um, it also has some drawings and some illustration kind of comic type presentation um, small blips of facts, and it's going to be incredibly interesting, great for readers 8, 9, and up, of course, they're adults for learning. And this one just is forensic science. This one is a um, the flex binding is what it's called. FL is the abbreviation you'll see on the website, just to kind of show you that. Um, the other one was a library bound, which is super, super durable and great for schools and libraries. So um, you, usually the normal family doesn't need it. But um, Brain Twisters has become a fast favorite in our family. Um, we have just been fascinated about the information. Like, for example, you'll read like what each half does. Um, this one's where you learn which eye is dominant. So it's kind of a cool way to you know, test your reflexes and your perception. Um, all about the brain. It has little fun experiments to do along the way. That's my kid's favorite page, in case you can't tell. Um, okay, so on a different little feel to this is what's happening to me. We have one for females and one for males. 
These are addressing the most uncomfortable topic for parents to talk about their, with their kids in most cases, and that is puberty and all the changes in the body. Now, I want to be upfront with you. This is going to be very blunt. Um, I won't go through all of them, but if you'd like to see it inside the pages because it is sensitive in nature, um, this is a progressive introduction. Like, it is in your face. It's very casual. It doesn't um, beat around the bush. So just let me know if you want to see inside, but these have been great for kids that just need to know and make sense about what's going on in their body in such a difficult time period of their life. Um, and last but not least, we have a series called The Story Of. There's a story of science. There's a story of um, astronomy and space. There's a story of inventions. These are going to be little blurbs along with some cute little illustrations, um, but it's not real stodgy. They're, the tone is very casual, which makes it very accessible for many readers. Um, quick little, you could just pick it up and read a page and find it interesting. Um, useless information, maybe, but I don't think learning anything is a bad thing. So Story of Inventions is a great one to add to your shelf for all kids who love to learn. Um, thanks for joining and happy reading.